Star Bohem, one of the most famous of the operas of the day, was first produced at the Teatro Reggio, Turin, February 1st, 1896. Its composer, Giacomo Puccini, was born at Lucca, Italy, February 1st, 1858. He was a pupil of Angeloni at Lucca, then of A. Ponchielli at Milan Conservatory, from which he graduated in 1893. His most widely known operas are La Boheme, La Tosca, Madame Butterfly, and The Girl of the Golden Web. The story of La Boheme introduces to us the romantic poet Rodolfo, struggling with love and poverty, Marcello, the optimistic artist, Schonar, the eccentric musician, Colini, the cheerful philosopher, the coquettish Musetta, and Mimi, the pathetic little Grisette. In the first act, the four Bohemians are seen in the garret, plunged in despair over their empty pockets. Rodolfo contributes his manuscripts to keep the fire alive, and Marcello holds off the landlord until Schonar, who has had an unexpected streak of good fortune, arrives. The three of them at once go off to a cafe to enjoy Christmas Eve, while Rodolfo remains behind to write. Mimi, an embroiderer and fellow lodger, enters to ask for a light. A love scene follows between her and Rodolfo, and then the two go to join their friends in the Latin Quarter. Mimi, happy as a bird, and Rodolfo in high spirits as they stroll arm in arm through the crowds, though Mimi is aware that a fatal malady has already touched her. In the second act, we see the party seated at a table in the Café Momus. Musetta enters with an elderly and rich suitor, Alcindoro. They are seated at an adjacent table. She is very indignant that Marcello, her former lover, will not notice her and talks loudly for his benefit while Alcindoro in vain tries to quiet her. Finally, she turns and markedly addressing Marcello, sings the aria given on this record, the famous Musetta Waltz, in which Musetta sings, as through the street, I wander onward merrily, I wander onward daintily, see how the folk look around, because they know I am charming, a very charming girl. The song ended, Marcello is about to go, but is spellbound by Musetta's voice. She, seeing that he is agitated, decides to get rid of Alcindoro, who is vainly trying to induce Musetta to resume her seat at the table. The fun grows fast and furious. At last, Musetta pretends that her shoe hurts and sends Alcindoro to buy a new pair. Then she and Marcello embrace and become reconciled. In the meantime, the bill for the supper is presented, and none of them have the money to pay. So Musetta bids the waiter to add the amount to her bill and leaves it for Alcindoro to pay. A military procession marches across the scene. The friends fall in behind. Musetta, having but one shoe, is carried by Marcello and Colini. Alcindoro returning is shown the bill and sinks horrified into a chair. The third act is full of quarrels and reconciliations between the two pairs of lovers, mingled with a vein of comedy. In the opening of the fourth act, we see Rodolfo and Marcello at their work. Shonar and Colini enter with frugal provisions. They try to forget their woes in merrymaking. Suddenly, Musetta enters, saying that Mimi is close behind. Mimi enters in the last stage of consumption. The others are overcome with compassion. Musetta gives her jewels to Marcello to sell to get a doctor. Colini pawns his faithful coat. Left alone, Rodolfo and Mimi renew memories of their happy past. Soon she falls asleep and dies. Rodolfo, in despair, throws himself on the corpse. Anna Case, who sings the Musetta waltz on this record, is an American girl who has risen from the bottom of the ladder until today she is one of the greatest sopranos of the Metropolitan Opera Company.